Hey guys, and welcome back to Dollywood. We're gonna pick up in 2023 our sections of the park. And today we're gonna talk about a real small section of the park. You can see it here directly behind me. It is Owens Farm. It also used to have another name back in the 90s and early 2000s. It was called Daydream Ridge. So we're gonna explore what is left here at Owens Farm and uh, talk about what used to be here as Daydream Ridge. You guys ready? Let's go do this. So as you come into Owens Farms, there's a couple different ways to get into the Owens Farm section. One is to come across the train tracks right here. This is coming up the hill from the uh, Celebrity Theater and where uh, they do the glass blowing. And so as you come through on this side, there's a uh, nice little waterfall right over here and a little pond. And this puts you out right above the Dollywood grist mill, which everybody knows is where you get your cinnamon bread. And you have the grist mill right here on this side. So there's a little information up here about the Dollywood grist mill. And this is, like I said, the top of the grist mill. You can definitely smell the cinnamon bread baking. Now you can't get to the uh, grist mill from this top end. Uh, they used to have a staircase up here that you could kind of go in and out, but they have closed that off. But you can uh, come up here and you can still smell the cinnamon bread and see the very top of the grist mill. So here's one of the signs telling you that you can get your cinnamon bread here. You just got to go downstairs, which is right down there. You can see there's some people already standing in line waiting to pick up their cinnamon bread. Now this area right here is right next to the top of the grist mill. And this is a great place to come eat because there's usually never anybody up here. Uh, usually these seats are always empty. There may be a few people up here, but there's usually not any people up here at all. So you do have one, two, three, four, five, six, no, excuse me, five tables up here. And they do have umbrellas they'll bring up during the summer to kind of throw some shade over this area as well. Now moving on ahead. There used to be a shop right here. I believe it was a toy shop at one point. Seems like I remember it being a toy shop. It is no longer anything. It's just a uh, empty uh, shop now. It's like host only. They probably use it for storage or break room, something like that. But they do have some restrooms right up here. They've got a men's and women's restroom right here. And they have sinks right outside. Now, Owens Farms only has one ride in the entire section. It used to have two rides. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, second ride here in just a few minutes. But what you're looking at right there, the big red barn, that is the only ride here currently. It is the Dueling Daredevils. It is a, uh, or the Barnstormer. It kind of goes by both names. But it's a, uh, a ride. We'll go up here and check it out in just a second. So as we're walking up the hill, You'll kind of see very fun ride. But another thing that they have here at Owens Farm is they have two small playgrounds. You've got one on this side, which is the, as you're coming towards the Dueling Daredevils, will be on the left side. They've got Granny's Garden, which is a small playground right over here. There's a little slide, a little crawl through thing, some mushrooms to crawl on top of. And they do have a nice little seating section right here that has some shade and some ceiling fans. So you can come over here and kind of get out of the sun on those hot days. As we walk around the corner here, there's another little area right over here. It uh, just has one small thing on it, but it does have this padded flooring. Great for small kids. So that is this section here. Like I said, this is just to the left of the Barnstormer. So at the introduction of this video, I had said that, you know, this used to be called Daydream Ridge. There was an entire playground up here, like a big playground. It had ball pits and slides, and it had uh, like tree swings and different things that went through the air. It was really great for kids. I remember it opening in probably in the mid, early 90s, something like that. Uh, and it, it was here for several years. They finally closed it down and moved it out. But there was also another ride here. The other ride was called the Mountain Slide Wander. And uh, 
the remnants of the slide winder are still here. You can kind of see them over my shoulder right back there. Uh, it was, a, uh, it was a, a giant water slide that came down the mountain and you sat in a boat, kind of like a canoe style boat, and you came down, uh, down the mountain. It was a fantastic ride. Uh, it's probably it's probably the ride that I miss the most here at Dollywood. Uh, it's been gone for a few years now as well, unfortunately. Uh, and there are rumors, and again, these are just rumors, so don't quote me on this. Rumors. Rumors that this entire section in the next three to five years is going, is going to be completely remodeled. Uh, rumor is that the Barnstormer or the Dueling Daredevils will actually move down to the Country Fair area and that they're going to pretty much blow this entire area out so they can put in a new roller coaster here. So if you guys are looking forward to that or if you've heard any of those rumors, let me know. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think about that. Like I said, I miss Daydream Ridge, I miss the Slide Winder, but you always have to progress. So let me know what you think in the comments. So now walking to the right of the Dueling Daredevils or the Barnstormer, you have another little playground. This is the Little Pilots Playground. Now my kids do love this playground. Again, these are smaller playgrounds, but they're good for kids. If you need something to do, let them burn off some energy. You've got some smaller kids maybe that can't do some of the bigger rides. This is a great place to bring them. So this one here looks like a kind of a crashed airplane. And there are a, there's a slide on the back side of it. You can see, you can kind of get right here and get out of the weather if you need to. And we'll come right over here. You can see that they have a little steering wheel, some flaps, the throttle, and then spinning around looking back up there. That's how you get to the slide. We'll walk around this way. They got some noise makers. And here is the slide. So again, all this is at Owens Farms. There's two playgrounds here. This is a small section of the park, but it does have two decent playgrounds. So it's great for small kids. Uh, the ride here is not designed for small kids, but if you've got small kids with you and you have, ride, you have people with you that want to ride the Dueling Daredevils, this is a great place to come, hang out, let the kids play while the bigger kids or the adults go ride the Dueling Daredevils. Speaking of the Dueling Daredevils, let's go over there and take a look at them. So this is the Dueling Daredevils locker. If you've got something you need to get locked up, you can put it right here. Now, they do have cubby holes inside the area over there that you can put your backpacks, cameras, hats, sunglasses, anything like that. So you can put those over there. You do not have to lock them up. You can lock them up if you feel like you need to. There is a test seat for the Dueling Daredevils. It is right next to the lockers. You can see the lockers right there. This is the test seat for the Dueling Daredevils. <clears throat> Now, like I said, I'm about 275, 280, somewhere in that range right now. And I fit, it is a snug fit, but I do fit. So if you're interested in riding, make sure you check out the test seats before you jump on. Now these swing up like this, and they also pull up. Now these don't pull up necessarily because they're kind of affixed here, but they'll when they close you in, they'll actually shove this down and this piece here moves down and kind of locks you into place. So let's go take a walk through the Barnstormer, the Dueling Daredevil's entrance. Make our way over to the rod. Now this is a queue that is mostly covered. So you will be in the shade a lot of the time you are in this queue, which is nice. A lot of the queues here are not necessarily covered, but this one is. And they do have different groups. So you have a group of one or two, you can go one direction. You have groups of three or more, you go another direction. And they've got it on the floor as well. So we're gonna go in the groups of one or two. Hey, how are you? Go on out, all right. So we're gonna go right on out to the swings. Now they don't let you take any of your uh, cameras on the ride. So we're gonna be shutting this thing off and uh, we'll just take a ride.
so this is the exit queue as you are leaving the dueling daredevils exit and right out so there you go that's the uh, dueling daredevils and the last thing as you are leaving Owens farm or coming into Owens farm is you're gonna go down the hill here this is the second entrance and or exit and this now comes out next to the Valley Hat Shop and the new Smoky Mountain Christmas Store. Smoky Mountain Christmas Store used to be down on the other side of the train tracks and they have recently, as of this season, moved it up the hill. You can see right there, Smoky Mountain Christmas Store. And right over here is the hat store. And you come out right here in Craftsman Valley. Right there is the Smoky Creek Leather and Hat Company. And then the hat shop is right there, or excuse me, the, um, <laughs> it's not the hat shop, hat shop's on the other side. Uh, the uh, Christmas shop is right here. Uh, and you can see there it's Owens Farm. Don't miss the Barnstormer up the hill. So there you go. There is the Owens Farm at Dollywood. All right, guys, that is going to do it for Owens Farm here at Dollywood. Again, it is a very small section of the park, but they do have a fantastic ride up there. And that part of Dollywood has uh, some history to it. You know, Daydream Ridge was up there, which was a great place for kids. And they also had the Mountain Slidewinder, which was a fantastic ride that unfortunately Dollywood took out uh, just a few years back. But hopefully uh, this video will help you as you are navigating Dollywood. I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, life's hard enough. Keep it amusing. See you guys next time.